Hello YouTube. Welcome to another video with Joseph Manifesting. Today's video is going to be on how to break the loop. If you feel like you're stuck in a loop, you keep manifesting the same things, you keep having the same inner conversations and the same inner inner challenges, today's video is going to be for you. Let's get straight into the video. I'm going to share a couple of techniques that I have found that are most helpful to break this loop and also help you understand why this loop happens so that you can become free of it. I talk about often the importance of becoming conscious, the importance of practicing carrying your list or the, the continuous practice of going internal in order to change your reality and why this is absolutely necessary in your day-to-day -day life to, to change your experiences and yourself. The reason is this, is if, if we're continuously going on social media, if we don't have any direction, if we don't have the discipline to go internal and to pray, what will happen is we'll keep going unconscious. We'll keep having the same self-suggestions of what life means. We'll keep reacting to the same 3D reality. We'll keep going on these YouTube videos and trying to find the perfect answer to the solution when we all know what it is. I did the same thing. I was guilty of it. When the solution is, is I must wake up. I must become aware. I must discipline my mind. This is the most important thing that I can do. Neville talks about that in order for me to have a radical change in life, I must have a radical change in my mind. The way that I radically change my mind is by self-discipline. Make today the day. This isn't a motivational speech. This isn't any of the stuff. But make today the last video that you watch and you start applying this. As Neville says, be a doer of the word instead of just a hearer only. You know from thousands of Reddit posts, you know from thousands of YouTube videos that this stuff works. There isn't going to be that magical video where I'm like, oh my God, fine. It, it just never happened for me. The same information that Neville, I, when I first listened to Neville six years ago, uh, is the same information I hear today. The only thing that changed was I changed. I had a burning desire to be different. I had a burning desire to achieve X, Y, and Z. And I finally made the intention, the commitment that I was going to be this person, that I was going to achieve this stuff, that I was going to be the success story, that I'd overcome whatever it was I needed to overcome. And now as a result of it, I experienced a lot of the things that before were absolutely impossible to me and I broke a lot of my loops. My number one favorite technique that I've found that's been the most helpful for me is I have carried my ideal list. I remember making this in my journal about four years ago of who I was gonna be. Before I met my wife, I wrote down the specifics of my wife, what she was gonna look like, how she'd act, what our relationship would look like. Now I have it. About three or four years ago when I was working a nine to five and didn't make too much money, I wrote down that I was self-employed and I made the amount, ideal amount of money that I now make. I wrote that I hated working with the boss. And at this time, here's the issue. There's not very many people I knew that were self-employed that were making the kind of money that they wanted. So I was taking, I was imagining what was possible for me based upon, again, facts, based upon other people's situations and opinions. So today's video, I really want to encourage you, I want to inspire you, write down your list. What is the amount of money that you want to make? Write that list down, not is it possible to you, not do you know anybody that does it. Not have you tried in the past and, and it wasn't ideal. What is the amount of money that you want to make? Now, there's no need to be haste with this, this list. Take some time. Sit down. Write it down. What amount of money do you want to make? What is it that you would like to do? What is it that, that you're excited about? What is it that you feel like is unique that you can add value to people's lives? Write that down on the list. Write down what kind of car that you'd like to drive. Write down anything that comes to your heart and write it down in level of importance too. Write down the importance of these things to you, your desire for these things. Write down the importance of them. And then also I want you to add in a date. What date would you like to achieve these things by? Now the date is a beautiful thing because when I have this earnest desire, what I do is I will stay more committed to it. I will stay focused on it. I will stay centered on it. And I will continue to read this list morning, afternoon, and nighttime. I read this all the time. Whenever doubts came up, I would read this list again. I'd pull the list out and I would read it until my doubts went away. 
Now, it may be very helpful in the beginning. Don't talk to anybody about your manifestations. Do not surround yourself with people that think the way that the world thinks. That, you know, there's the, the outside world's the cause and you're the effect. Only surround yourself with ideal people that think either are achieving things that you want to achieve or people that are in the manifestation community that know that you're limitless. Write this list down. And the only rules I want you to follow, read the list at least three times a day. Anytime doubts come up, read the list. And if at any point your desires change, you can either change the list around or you can you know, change the importance of the list, remove it from the list, add to the list. A lot of these practices I got from It Works. It's a really, really great book. I highly recommend it. Definitely check that out. But write this list down. Have this direction continuously. And you may not feel like you're the person that can obtain these things. You may not feel like you have a desire to go and do any of these things. None of that matters. Just keep reading this list. And from the premise of I have X, Y, and Z by, by this date. And write this down. And keep reading it, keep reading it, keep reading it. And what you'll find is, is through time, you will find the motivation. You will find the energy. You'll start connecting with people. You'll start having the impulse of the urge to start doing things towards that. And you will find very quickly that this manifestation will happen for you. Not only for this practice, but for any practice in general, anything that happens in your life, make sure that you're grateful for it. Make sure that you thank your inner self for it. Make sure that you give it responsibility. A huge issue that we have is that we have the victim mind state. That these people are doing these things to me. I hear this all the time with SPs. SPs doing this to me. Your SP is simply mirroring your assumption. There was some point where we unconsciously imagined SP was doing this, acting this way, and then they did, and then we're blaming them for the things that we imagined. So we're playing the, the we were the attacker and we're playing the victim when it's the other way around. So take accountability for the things that we've manifested 100% of the time thank ourselves we have we have this habit of we worry about these things all day and and maybe get this manifestation and then we're on to the next one immediately after we get a manifestation and then we have something we want or something we worry about and that's on our mind from the more moment we wake up until we go to bed and then sometimes even in the middle of the night we wake up to think about these things reverse that be grateful for these things. Actually feel gratitude that you manifested these things and know that all things come from within you. The second thing that I have found is extremely helpful is going to the gym. We're really a creature of habits. As much as we don't want to admit this, as much as this may feel wrong, we are creatures of habit. And if we don't have set things to do, conscious things to do, or we consciously choose to do things, what happens is we go back to our old ways of doing things. If we're by default used to being lazy or used to making excuses and we don't have this list that we follow where we don't have habits in place like going to the gym, we'll fall back into these habits. That's our dwelling place. That's who we are by nature. And so I found going to the gym is very helpful because when I go to the gym, I'm now in the process of getting things done, of overcoming myself, of setting the intention and following through with what I said I'm going to do. And then I also decided consciously I'm going to go to the gym when I didn't feel like going to the gym. Then once I go to the gym, I'm on, I tell myself I'm going to do 10 reps and I'm on rep six. My body doesn't feel like doing it anymore. And I consciously tell myself I'm going to do four more reps. This again builds that mental discipline that builds that perseverance, that builds that I'm doing this, that, that conviction, that concentration. And as I do this more and more and more, what will end up happening is I'll feel more energized and then I'll feel as though I'm attractive. I'll feel as though I believe in myself, that I'm capable, that I can do things. And this kind of infects the rest of my life with, with blessings, with positivity, with overcoming, with discipline. And so do you need to do the gym or any of this stuff in order to manifest? No, really manifestation is a very, very simple process. It is assuming that I now have what my senses deny. That's, that's in, in an eggshell. It's very, very simple. But the issue is, is that the mind is undisciplined. It'll go over here and it's sidetracked with work. It's sidetracked with things I need to do. It's sidetracked with problems. It's sidetracked with this and that. And so I must make conscious effort to discipline myself, to do what it is that I desire to do, to imagine what it is that I desire to imagine. And in order for me to do that, I found it's easiest when I have these couple of things in place to keep me on track. The last thing is a list of what to do daily. Again, my biggest setback in manifestation has always been 
I forget to meditate because I'm caught up in my life or I'm caught up with this or I'm caught up with that. Or I'd rather go and do this. But having those things on my list of, hey, at this time, go to the gym. Hey, at this time, I have a client call. This time, I have a client call. This time, I have a video to make. This time, I have meditate. Go within. I have these reminders and I start building new habits, reminding myself to go within, reminding myself to live from my inner world, reminding myself to leave the outside world alone. And through these practices, I start becoming a more ideal person. I build more ideal habits. I hope today's video was helpful, guys. Really, manifestation all comes down to discipline in the mind, only entertaining what it is that you want to entertain, disciplining yourself to be who it is that you want to be, to think the way that you want to think, to act the way that you want to act. And it all starts with discipline of the mind. And these techniques, these practices I found are extremely helpful. You may want to find a buddy to hold you accountable to this or a gym partner or something like this to ensure that you continue to do it. And sure, it may feel challenging at first, but you will be very thankful that you did. Because when you do these things, you'll start feeling better. You'll start having more energy and you will change the way that you think and the way that you see the world in yourself. Today's video was helpful, guys. Please do like, subscribe, and comment. It helps the algorithm push it to the people that need this. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, please do check out the uh, my email on my description page. Shoot me an email. I'll be happy to work with you. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.